<laughs> there she goes. Oh, oh, she, she missed it. <laughs> come here, come here. So hard to hold this camera and throw a frisbee. Hey, well, drop, draw. <laughs> Oh, drop, drop. <laughs> Lola, drop, drop. There we go. Now sit, sit. You gotta get your slobber off of it. Oh, that was a bad throw. Anyway, I just decided to do my vlog outside this time. Came to a park that's close to my house to throw frisbee with Lola here. She loves frisbee. Yes, you do. <laughs> and there's Buddy. He just sticks it around, wanders. All right, all right. Nice catch. Yeah. Anyway, I uh, I come to this park every day to throw frisbee for my dogs. That, that was the train noise I talked about in one of my other videos. Yeah. Yeah, that's the noise that can drive me crazy. It's not so bad now, but if it continues like this, it might get bad. I need a smaller camera. This one's heavy and it zooms in so much. It says I'm all the way zoomed out, but. Oh, wait. There is Buddy. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. Lola. Damn it. Lola, come back. Come back. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Sometimes she does take off. Oh, there's another dog over there. Uh-oh. Gotta get my dogs now. There's, there's another dog in the park. And now we're walking, we're walking together, going on a walk. There we go, now I'm in frame. This camera is, is not good for uh, holding and walking at the same time. But anyway, yeah. I, was saying that I come to this park every day and throw the frisbee for that for Lola, but he doesn't like like the frisbee. And then I take him for a walk. Uh, I do it in the morning, right after I get up. Well, I actually, I actually do some running right after I get up, just around the block for like five minutes, five, six, 
seven minutes, something like that. Yeah, because because I needed the exercise. <laughs> yeah, I think I started doing the running because I like read somewhere that running for uh, uh, like about 10 minutes a day will help you like live longer and relieve stress and anxiety. So, so I run five minutes a day. <laughs> and yeah, it's, yeah, I think it's been helping somewhat. If not with the anxiety, then at least get getting me into shape. Because I, I remember when I first started, uh, first started running, I I could barely like run on I don't know a hundred feet without getting really tired. What? What are you looking at? Huh? Huh? What? She sees a cat or a squirrel, then she just goes, goes uh, crazy and starts trying to lunge after it. That's why she wears the harness. Buddy's, buddy doesn't like cats either, but he's too old to run. How about this angle? <laughs> no, I don't think so. My arm's getting so tired from holding this camera. <laughs> I need a smaller, lighter one to uh, do these walking and talking and walking dogs video. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah, I, I couldn't run very far at all without out getting uh, winded and having to stop to catch my breath. So, but but now I've been doing it for, for uh, actually a long while, probably like a year, at least, at least a year I've been doing it and now I can, can run uh, almost comp almost around the, my block uh, without getting uh, uh, super out of breath. So, so yeah, yeah, it's at least good for my health. And I'm not trying to run the marathon or or anything. Uh, so, I'm just trying to, trying to, you know, improve my house just a little bit. Actually, speaking of house, uh, yesterday at my work, there's this, uh, uh, representative from a tobacco company. I think it was Camel, uh, and she was in uh, my, the, my gas station when I was working, and she was uh, giving out coupons to, for uh, cigarettes, and to, she was giving out to smokers who, who wanted them. The uh, tobacco representative was like a young lady who didn't look old enough to, for her to smoke. She looked really young. And then, and during the day, that there was this, uh, another woman who, who came uh, into the store and she was waiting in line. And she, she says to the tobacco rep, um, like, um, I couldn't quite 
hear all of the comment because I was just finishing with another customer and in my gas station they they have the radio playing through speakers uh, the whole day so it's a little loud but the, but the one woman says to the tobacco rep she, she says something like like you're selling cancer or giving coupons out for cancer or something like that and 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 then the tobacco rep says oh well I can't really comment on that I'm not a doctor <laughs> but now you, you can't comment on that because you work for the tobacco company because everyone knows cigarettes tobacco cigarettes cause cancer yeah they teach that in school but I I never smoke I, I'll, ne I'll never smoke or chew tobacco because I know it causes cancer I learned that in school that's why I'm running every day almost every day because uh, I want to improve my health and these two they need to get out every day otherwise they just start bark barking wildly and get really rambunctious so, so yeah this routine has been working well for me and not uh, and uh, the parks almost always completely empty at eight or nine in the morning on, on weekdays. So I can take the dogs there and they can run. Technically, they're always supposed to be on leash when they're in the park, except in de designated areas during certain parts of the day. But, yeah. You know, but you know, no one's no one's there, so so no one comes and talks to me. I need to switch hands. My other arm's tired from holding a camera. Ugh. So yeah, like, and I hold on. There's someone here. <laughs> There's, a, there's this um, guy coming out of his garage and taking the trash out. And I don't know what he would think of me doing this. And like, and like, I, I don't care <coughs> about, about what people, people would think if they see me doing this, but but you know if but to me it's like if they don't need to see me then then they don't have to <laughs> it's a good thing it's a good thing my dogs aren't like uh, aggressive when they're walking cuz th this would be a lot harder <laughs> I'm just holding it, like, ah, uh -uh. there, yeah. I just got both leashes in one hand, so it's a good thing they're good walkers, except when they see like a cat. So yeah, that's just like a, a part of my daily routine. I know I, I've made a couple of videos about setting a daily schedule or, or a daily routine and how it helps me. So I, I've got a little bit of it down. Uh, <coughs> like, like the morning, I, I've got down. I, I do this almost every day, like what I've said. And you know, at night, I it, 
it's like after work and at night I'm trying to also uh, just set a routine. Uh, I, I have been going to bed at like roughly the same time every night, which is like usually between 11 and midnight. And then I get up around 8 a.m. But, but uh, I mean, if I end up staying up later, then, then, uh, then I actually have a hard time getting back into my routine, like, like, cause, like, I think last week, I stayed up till one, after one in the morning, just, uh, I don't even know what I was doing, probably something with the computer, yeah. Yeah, just on the computer and the internet, and then, and then the next couple nights, uh, I also stayed up close to one in the morning, cause, cause then, cause then it's harder for me to get back to the routine. Uh, like each night, I was just going to bed. 10 or 15 minutes earlier instead of uh, this instead of going straight back to going to bed at uh, my regular time I had to like just slowly get back to to it and now I am but if I do it again then then it then it like throws me off, and then I'm then I I'm waking up later than I usually do because I stayed up later. So if I don't get thrown off my routine, then then I'm fine, and it helps. But. You know, I'm I'm not like like, and I'm not that regular regular. Yeah. But but my schedule doesn't need to be that rigorous. Like like I said before, I my autism is mild, so so I'm I'm more flexible, especially with my job now. Hey, right. cool. Now I'm not so backlit and my face isn't so dark. Cool. Y yeah, like with, with my job schedule, it it's it's like hasn't been the same for weeks now. <laughs> so so you know, I have to be flexible. Uh, uh, doing the job I, I do <laughs> but yeah so anyway now now this arm is getting tired uh, yeah anyway I just thought I'd take the camera outside and do something different than just having it on a tripod I'm not sure if I'll do this again. Cause, oh, my arm's getting so tired, <laughs> and, and I'm just gonna have to see if this video looks any good. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, my walk with the dog is almost finished. So until next video, uh, goodbye. Hey, oh, say goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs> Say goodbye. Say goodbye, buddy. Say goodbye.